Welcome back to my channel. These are the requirements, Windows 7 must be 64-bit. It must have enough storage, over 50 GB should be fine. It must be in UEFI boot mode. With MBR boot mode, you can go to Windows 10, but not to Windows 11. Windows 7 must be activated with a genuine key. The tools we're going to need are mainly the Firefox browser first, Google Chrome browser, and 7-Zip, a free utility to unzip files. As you can see from my system requirements, this is Windows 7 64-bit and it's already activated. If it's not activated, it will look like this. You can check if there is more than one partition and whether there is an EFI partition, that means you're already on UEFI. You can also right-click, go to Properties, and under Volume, it will say GPT or MBR. If there is only one partition, that means it's an MBR boot system. That's how you can identify what boot system your Windows 7 is using. As you can see, I've got plenty of storage, over 60 gigabytes free. Let's get started. Make sure you watch the full video and don't skip any parts. You're going to need some time and patience, but if you meet all the requirements, it's going to work for you 100%. We're going to break it down step by step. First of all, if you don't have any browser installed, chances are Internet Explorer will not load any websites. So, what we need to do is download the Firefox browser first, the link is in the description, and you can see it on the screen to download the exact version for Windows 7. I'm downloading the English GB version, but you can download any language from the link. Once the Firefox browser is downloaded, we can go to any website. Specifically, we'll go to Google Chrome and download it, because we're going to need Google Chrome to download Windows. Go to Firefox, search for Google Chrome, download it, and install it. So type 7-zip in Google Chrome, download it from the first link, and install it. Now go to Google Chrome and type download Windows 10, that will bring you to a page. Right click anywhere on the page and go to inspect. Go to the three dots at the top right network condition scroll down and untick use browser default. Then from the drop down, choose Chrome OS. Don't close that, just refresh the page. On the left, you'll see the download ISO option has appeared. Click on the download link, choose your language, confirm, and then download the 64-bit version.
Now go to the Downloads folder and extract the Windows 10 ISO using 7-zip, in any location, it doesn't matter. I'll show you this computer by going into Computer Properties. If it's not activated, the Windows setup will ask for an existing product key, which is fine if you have one. But it's very important, if your Windows is already activated, like mine is, when you run the Windows setup, it won't ask you for a product key. That means it will activate Windows 10 automatically. So, keep all files, then click Install. It will take a while and restart a few times. When it's done, go through the Windows initial setup. Once the setup is complete, I'll just change the display resolution so you can see it better. I'll go to Settings, and under Activation, you can see Windows 10 Pro is already activated with a digital license key. Also, you can see it's Windows 10 Pro 22H2, the latest version. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and sharing it.